Hey folks, this is Kyle Lamb, Viking Tactics. I'm here at the uh, Sig Sauer booth 2020 SHOT Show. Now, if you're watching this, you're probably hoping I got an AR. This is not an AR, even though it looks like an AR. This is the new Sig Cross Rifle. This thing is unbelievable. First of all, right out of the gate, less than six and a half pounds. M-Lock free float tube, very, very small diameter tube. So when you grab the rifle, it's, it's super easy to hang on to, but you can also use your M-Lock accessories wherever you want to. On the muzzle end of the barrel, we have a, uh, a tapered cut so that any of the SIG suppressors will fit on this barrel. There's also an adapter. If you have a flat base suppressor, you'll be able to do that as well. I wouldn't say it's a light contour barrel, but this is a very, very light weapon. 60 degree bolt throw, very smooth. You're not getting any bolt bind when you're going back and forth. One piece receiver. What's cool about this is, what I like about it is you can change out the top of the receiver so you can have this rail, you can have a 20 minute rail, and you can have a full length rail if you want to add accessories such as night vision, uh, thermal, whatever it might be. I also like, like the fact that if you want to mount your scope solidly to the receiver, you can take the uh, take the Picatinny rail off and go right to the upper receiver. All right, going to the going a little bit lower, we also have a magazine that happens to be an AI size mag. Well, guess what? That allows you folks that want to load your rounds a little bit longer the ability to do that. AR style controls, ambidextrous, so you can go left or right-handed side. You have a trigger that's adjustable from two and a half to four and a half pounds. Now we get to the really interesting part. When I first saw this stock, I'm like, wow, this thing is crazy. And I thought, well, you know, there's some features here that I may not need, but there are some that I do need. One is that when I fold the stock, it actually locks the bolt. So when I put this in my backpack to hunt, it's not going to be floating around and the bolt coming out of my weapon. The other thing that happens is it's locked. I really like that feature. Maybe on an AR, if I was jumping out of a car, I wouldn't want that feature. But on this weapon, I actually want it to lock and then lock fully in position. Now going back, we have the adjustability to go up and down. We can uh, increase our length of pull, which I really like. And now here's another feature that I really thought was crazy until I used it. So if you drop this lever, this is actually spring loaded. This one's pretty tight, but that part is actually spring loaded. So if I get up on the weapon, I can push down to where I need to be. Okay, that's where I want to be. Simply grab the lever, lock it in place. I've got the comb, the height that it needs to be. All right, so under six and a half pounds, hunting rifle, 6.5 Creedmoor is gonna come with an 18 inch barrel, 7.62 or 308 to you civilians out there. It's gonna come with a 16 inch barrel and the 277 Fury is gonna also come in a 16 inch barrel. All right, if you haven't seen this, I would hurry up and get on the list to get one because these are gonna go, they're gonna go fast. All right, once again, I'm Kyle Lamb with Viking Tactics here at Sig Sauer. That is the, the Sig Cross Rifle. David Farrell, brand manager for Sig Sauer Ammunition. And what we have here is our new three-piece uh, ammunition, our hybrid case. We have our 277 Fury round, which is uh, brand new to the market. And what that is is right here, our three-piece construction of the bullet itself. What we're able to do here with our new Fury and the technology that goes into this round and this ammunition is essentially put more power in a smaller, lighter package. And what that means to you as the consumer is that we're able to take on and shoot out further, have less bullet drops, straighter tra trajectories, and essentially get more power into uh, that shot that you're gonna take here. So what we have on display is our 140 grain 277 Fury round. When we ship this round at first, uh, expected around June 2020 is when the first uh, first bullets will leave for the commercial market. Uh, we're going to ship in 135 grain and 140 grain hunting uh, tipped, just like you see here in our other uh, line. It'll, it'll be a black oxide bullet. Um, and what essentially gives this, this bullet more power is, is the construction itself. It's a three-piece ammo here in which you have a stainless steel base that goes over your traditional brass case here. And then what seals and locks everything together is this aluminum washer here that allows us to take the PSI larger than and greater than it, it has ever been before. So what would be traditionally a 50,000 PSI load, we're actually getting over 80,000 PSI. And by then essentially 
The most common fail point on uh, our on just brass and rounds in general is going to be the base here. And with the reinforcement, we're actually able to thin out and take out some of the brass wall here, creating that 20% lighter, uh, excuse me, lighter weight. And uh, that's what essentially creates our round here. It's going to be commonly compared a lot to the 6.5 Creedmoor. Um, so again, nine feet less drop at a thousand yards. We're able to, you can see also right here, 20 to 25% greater energy, over 500 more feet per second. And you'll see this side by side. So what a lot of that energy means to you is that at a 16 inch barrel, we're actually getting over 3000 feet per second. So think about that for a second. A 140 grain bullet, and we're getting over 3000 feet per second out of a 140 grain bullet, out of a 16 inch barrel. Once we take that up to a greater, uh, longer barrel, 24 inch, we're actually getting over 3,200 feet per second. So again, just mind blowing uh, energy that's coming out of that, that round there. So very excited, look for it in uh, local shops. Again, around that June time frame is when you'll start to see that. And uh, the components and other things will continue to follow. So thanks for the time and looking forward to seeing you out there. What kind of uh, platform do you think we might see this round on first? Yep, so uh, obviously we're in the new hunting booth, so we're, we're bringing this out to the hunting market, um, which is why the first round is going to be a 140 grain hunting tipped round. So that's going to be a great market there. Uh, also the, the OTM, so a tip match, is also what we'll be bringing that out there. So again, for those PRS shooters as well. Um, and a lot of this also derives from, again, our, our pursuit of the, uh, our military government side. So again, all these different innovations that we're bringing to the market, we want to continue to bring to that consumer, that civilian uh, consumer out there. And so uh, we're excited. And then also to run parallel with that is I'm sure you guys have also seen the, the new uh, SIG Cross rifle that'll be chambered in 277 Fury as well. So again, look forward to that. That's going to be around the June timeframe as well. And uh, we'll have the full package for you.